Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all water signs. Perhaps your store isn't here, but there is also a separate spread just for your sign. We have the Page of Swords, we have the Knight of Pentacles, we have the Four of Pentacles clarified by the Three of Pentacles, and we have the Page of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. The first thing I thought in my head when I saw this spread for some reason was that somebody is looking for you because they want to give you some money. <laughs> the Page of Swords is the first card on the left. Um, this is a card of somebody who is spying on someone, but in this case, this is somebody who is doing their research. They're looking for you, and uh, they're looking for you because of the Knight of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles is, uh, like I said, money they want to give you. Perhaps you've inherited some money, but they can't locate you, and uh, they finally will this weekend, and uh, here comes the money. Right then with the Four of Pentacles, the next card from the Knight of Pentacles is uh, you holding on to those coins. You holding on to that check coming towards you. And uh, the Page of Cups, this is uh, them reaching out to you with the good news. <laughs> so it could be that. Um, you could also be dealing with kids because Page of uh, Swords and the Page of Cups could be all about children. You could be uh, spending some money on children with the Knight of Pentacles, right? Uh, you could be taking them somewhere, going shopping or going uh, somewhere taking them to an amusement park if that is at all possible basically I don't really see anything bad here and uh, another way I can interpret the spread is uh, it's, it's still about money but it could be um, a work business or, or a financial offer coming towards you and with the page of swords and the page of cups this is them uh, emailing you, texting you, calling you um, sending you letters right and the knight of pentacles could be that offer, a new job offer, or a new business adventure offer. This is the slowest night in the deck. So to me personally, the Knight of Pentacles in this case is all about this offer that somebody thought through and it's a good, it's a sizable chunk and change coming towards you. The Four of Pentacles is uh, the money coming towards you that you'll be able to hold on to, literally, <laughs> when you start this new job. The Three of Pentacles uh, Clarifying the Four of Pentacles is all about working in a team environment, uh, collaborating with somebody to make money. Or uh, you could be hired as a consultant to teach other people some uh, skill set or whatever. So yeah, it's a, it's a positive spread. And uh, lots of pentacles here. Most likely it's all about some finances, but in a good, positive way. Cancer. We have the Eight of Swords clarified by the Six of Pentacles. We have the Nine of Cups. Then we have the Seven of Pentacles clarified by the Four of Wands. And uh, we have the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. So um, I think what you're going to be doing over the weekend for the most part or the most important thing that's going to happen to you over the weekend is you're going to make some kind of a decision in regards to a multiple choice situation. Um, we've got the Two of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck. This is you trying to decide should you stay or should you go. Or which one of the two or more than two, like three options you should uh, choose in between or among. So the Two uh, of Pentacles um, is you weighing all pros and cons pretty much, right? And the, it could be about love or it could be about work, business and finances because we've got lots of uh, pentacle cards and uh, on that a little bit later. So yeah, it could be about pretty much anything. The first card that came out is the Eight of Swords. The Eight of Swords is uh, you're stuck, you're trapped and that's exactly what the Two of Pentacles represents. This is you making a decision. You're not 100% sure. Perhaps you have a really tough choice. The Eight of Swords is clarified by the Six of Pentacles, and I think in this particular spread it's very similar to the Two of uh, Pentacles energy, right? So this is you also trying to decide between two different people, two different job offers, two different um, products, um, and uh, you're trying to decide which one of those products to buy, right? And uh, if you take a closer look at the Six of Pentacles, the person standing right there in the middle, he's got their scales, right? And uh, yeah. So you're just weighing all pros and cons, putting stuff in the, in the scales and see which one of them will outweigh the other. 
Then we have the Nine of Cups right there in the middle. The Nine of Cups is a card of a wish come true, or this is a card of a personal and emotional satisfaction. So you're trying to decide which one of the options is going to make you happy or happier, right? Which one is uh, better than the other? Then we have the Seven of Pentacles clarified by the Four of Wands, and it's again the same thing. The Seven of Pentacles is you looking at something, looking at all the options, and the Seven of Pentacles is uh, generally all about waiting, but I think in this case, like I said, this is you looking at all the options that you will be presented. The Four of Wands is a card of a committed relationship, or uh, this is a card of, um, say, an, uh, people that you will be working with if you're deciding between multiple jobs, right? Or the four of wands symbolizes uh, your place of residence. So perhaps you're sitting on the couch <laughs> looking at all the different uh, paperwork in the binders and you're trying to make your decision. Yeah, so it's there's no movement here. Every single card in this spread is a standstill, right? So, yeah, make a choice. Hopefully it'll be um, good for you in the long term. Scorpio. We have the Four of Pentacles, we have the Four of Swords clarified by the Page of Pentacles, then we have the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, and we have um, the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So I think this weekend Scorpio is all about the Benjamins for you. <laughs> it's all about finances, it's all about uh, making offers, receiving offers related to work, business, finances, whatever makes money for you, or whatever you want to make to make money for you. So, um, yeah, the Eight of Wands on the bottom of the deck, this is a card of uh, communication. So this is you communicating with either one person or multiple people, right? And uh, yeah, let's start by going backwards. So we have the Ace of Pentacles clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, and it's kind of symbolic that the Knight of Pentacles is holding up the coin, and I think that's exactly the coin we see in the Ace of Pentacles. This is a golden opportunity, or this is money coming towards you, or this is you reaching out to somebody and uh, trying to make some kind of a deal. Um, so the Knight of Pentacles is the slowest knight in the deck, but it's the most serious and the most stable one. To me, it represents that somebody who is making the offer thought this offer through, and it's a good, sizable chunk of change. Right, the uh, Four of Swords clarified by the Page of Pentacles. This is somebody yeah, thought, who uh, took their time and thought it through and then they reached out with the offer that is, uh, we see in the Page of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles, the first card that uh, actually came out, this is somebody who's got the money. Uh, it usually represents somebody who's holding back, so perhaps this person did hold back, but only because they were still thinking this offer through and then they decided to open up because you see the change from the fourth pentacles the first card on the left um, somebody is closed off and holding on to their coin but then every single other pentacle cards that came out is somebody is holding their coin coin out so they want to share their coin right they're offering their coin and it could be literally money or it could be like I said, somebody is done thinking about the offer and now they're extending this offer and they really, really want the receiving end uh, or the person on the receiving end to take it. <laughs> Alright, so yeah, like I said, it's all about money, it's all about uh, business finances uh, over this weekend, but in a very positive, good way. It could be a, a golden opportunity, so make sure you don't miss it. Pisces, we have the Five of Pentacles, we have Temperance, then we have the Chariot clarified by the Ace of Pentacles, and we have the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Cancer. This is a very simple spread. It's all about a reconciliation. Um, we've got the Five of Pentacles, the first card on the left. This is somebody wanting to come out of the cold. And uh, we also have the Nine of Swords on the bottom of the deck. This card is a card of anxiety. This is a card of a depression. Somebody who is really um, sad about the breakup or about a separation. And then we have Temperance right there. Temperance is the personal Sagittarius card. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Or Temperance is all about um, healing the situation. It's all about forgiveness. It's all about burying the hatchet. And uh, it's all about reconciliations. And uh, then we have the Chariot, clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. So the Chariot is the personal Cancer card. You could be 
dealing with the cancer or the chair symbolizes the two of you getting back together and uh, moving forward really really fast there is no stopping you anymore <laughs> and it's clarified by the Ace of Pentacles. The Ace of Pentacles is a golden opportunity. So um, I, I almost feel like this union, this relationship will be even stronger than before the two of you uh, broke up. Because now you realize what you've lost. Because as uh, we all know that we don't know which we, what we had until we lost it. Right. So now the two of you know. <laughs> exactly what you want to hold on to going forward and uh, the chariot is one of the fastest cards in the deck so it almost feels like you're catching up um, you're just telling each other stories hey you know this and that happened to me while we were separated and, and uh, you could be actually going on a trip together because you'll say you know what let's just uh, take off because I'm tired of being here let's spend this weekend together someplace else and uh, that's where the two of you will um, you know seal the deal 100 percent and realize that uh, the two of you belong belong together that's why we have uh, the ace of pentacles here so yeah this is a great spread it's a reconciliation and uh, a very happy one congratulations and there you have it i hope my readings resonated with you and if they did i hope they make your lives better in one way or the other please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified thank you for watching